Hello there and welcome to Grow Smart with Growden. This video is going to show you just how easy it is to transplant with Grodan. Here I've got a tray with some lettuce, some peppers, and some basil. Don't they look great? But now they just need a home so they can grow bigger. How do I know they're ready to be transplanted? See the roots? When they are one to two inches below the cube, then the seedlings are ready. If these were my herb seedlings or greens, like my lettuce, and I wanted to grow just a small plant, then I have several options. I could plug the plant directly into either a floating system, where the roots are floating in the nutrient solution, or I could use an NFT system, which stands for Nutrient Film Technique, because the nutrient solution continually flows over the root. Or I could use an aeroponic system, where the nutrient solution is sprayed onto the root. For all other systems, I need to pot up my little seedlings. Between you and me, you've heard of transplant shock? Well, I can show you how to avoid that. This is the water that I planted my small plants with. My grow block has been pre-soaked. So now I flush the block with the same water. This way the little plant will not detect the difference between the small plug and the block. That's the beauty of hydroponics. In soil, it's very difficult to avoid transplant shock altogether. Let the plants sit for a few days without watering them. There's plenty of water in the block. Lift the block now and then. If it feels light, then it's time to water. Use EC 1.5 and pH 5.5 to 6 for your nutrient solution. You can transplant into several different products. I've got a few here to show you. This is the three inch, the four inch, and the four inch short. They are great for smaller plants to medium plants as they grow into maturity in either using the ebb and flow system or the drip system. They are also a good choice if you're transplanting into a pot or into your garden. This one has grow cubes. You can place the block on top like this. Or, you can remove the plastic cover so that only the top is visible. If you transplant into your outside garden or pot up in peat, be very careful to keep the surrounding soil moist. Why is that? If the soil is dry, it will suck the water out of the block before the plant gets a chance to root into the soil. So definitely keep the water around your transplant. For larger plants, such as cucumbers and tomatoes, many of us choose to use a three-step process. Start with an AOK -okay plug seedling and transplant into a wet block. The size you choose is entirely up to you. Second, as the plant grows into the block, feed it about an EC of 1.5 and keep the pH around 5.5 to 6. Wait for the root to come out of the bigger block, then transplant onto the slab. Now I've cut a single cross and watered with the EC 1.5 solution. I've also cut slits in the slab to make it drain. Also make sure that you are cutting along the bottom of the slab. See this arrow? It means the slab should be placed this way up in your system. First I'll mark 
Then I'll cut additional crosses. So I'm cutting my crosses like this. Next, I'll flip open the flaps and place my to rooted tomato plants inside the slab. Now I will have happy large plants. The roots will be nice and tidy inside the slab and not exposed to the elements. There will be less algae growing too. Later I will explain how to set up a drip system using slabs. For transplanting your seedlings, there are two more options I'd like to show you. One, you can put it directly into the Hugo block like this. Now our ebb and flow video will show you exactly how to do it, step by step. Secondly, if you like herbs and lettuce, here's a nifty little idea. You can have this tray sitting in your kitchen window, or on a shelf with a fluorescent T5 light above, ready for you to harvest when you're preparing meals. Well, how you do this is just like before. From the top, I've cut little crosses. Then just pull out the wool and pop in your seedlings. How many you put in depends, of course, on how big the plants will get. For microgreens, you can plug in six to nine plants. Or better yet, mix it all up. Have some red lettuce, maybe a basil plant, some thyme, and then a few microgreens for a gourmet selection at your fingertips. Herbs are easy to grow under low light to medium light. Bon appétit. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have found this video to be beneficial to you. For additional information on this and other similar topics, please visit rodan101.com. The video that you have just watched is one of nine topics in the Grow Spot series. To access the others, visit our website now.